All right, Bona said it's your boy Big Rich. You already know what time it is. Mob Spotlight. We haven't done a mob spotlight in a very long time. Some of them, you know, sometimes we do do spotlights and we go on mob stories. But here's a quick mob spotlight because I got to get some rest. I'm tired. I worked all day. My leg is killing me. I got to get some rest. It is what it is. But uh, a quick mob spotlight on, uh, of course, you know, uh, Shattered uh, sent this to me. Frankie Yale, the lesser known mafia boss. Frankie Yale. And this is from uh, the AmericanMafia.org. Something real quick, you know what I'm saying? So you guys can light up too, throw some smoke in the air, wipe your feet on the rug. You already know the rules. Mob Spotlight, Big Rich, Ruckus Radio Podcast. Let's get busy. Frankie Yale, the lesser known mafia boss. Although the Prohibition era saw the rise of several popular mob bosses such as Johnny Torrio, Joe Masseria, and Al Capone, there are also a few bosses who were less remembered but did play an important role during this time. One of them was considered to be a murderous, ruthless leader called Frankie Yale, who is known to have straddled two underworlds. His early life, Frankie Yale's actual name was Francisco Iole. He was also called Frankie Iole. It was on the 22nd of January in 1893 that he was born in Italy's Longobuco province, and in 1901 he had immigrated to New York City, United States. He is said to have introduced to the he is said to have been introduced to the world of organized crime at a very early age. John Torrio or Papa Johnny as he is well known amongst the mafia circles was Frankie's future mentor and had him admitted to Lower Manhattan's powerful street gang known as the Five Points Gang. Yale earned a reputation for being a petty thief and a street fighter from his early age and bold enough not to shy from violence. He was arrested in 1912 on being suspected for murder. In 1919, Torrio head for Chicago, but imparted the ways to crime to Yale to follow. Very soon, Yale got involved in infiltrating and dominating Brooklyn's ice delivery trade and in racketeering. The money that came by was used for purchasing a bar at Coney Island, and he called it the Harvard Inn. It is here that he befriended Al Capone working as a bouncer. It is also at this inn that Capone was hit and had marks on his face, earning him the name Scarface. Yale was also involved in black hand extortion during the early part of the 20th century, where citizens were sent threatening letters to pay up money or be harmed. He also ran labor racketeering and brothels. He also ran a funeral home and sold cigars as a front. It was the introduction of prohibition that prompted him to get into the boozing industry. Apart from being a criminal, he also had a soft spot, helping those who were needy. At the same time, he killed people without any remorse, if required. He was also responsible for several high-profile murders. It was he, along with other members who had shot Dean O'Banion, Al Capone's rival gang boss. He was always targeted by his enemies like the Irish American mobsters and the White Hand Gang. On July 1st of 1928, a strange phone call about his wife having a problem at home led him to be ambushed by armed men, killing Yale on the spot. He had a lavish funeral in mob history. All right, to something real quick, quick and simple, get to the point. And believe me, we have hundreds of these spotlights coming. Literally hundreds. Like like I got fifty alone in my mailbox to do. Just you know. So we got I, I'm trying to knock them out in the order that uh Shattered sent me in, all right? But still great article. Again, AmericanMafia.org, famous gangsters, Frankie Yale, the lesser known mafia boss, written by the admin. Salute to the admin. All right? Mob spotlights, big rich, team ruckus, ruckus radio. You know how we do. Salute, have a good evening, and we'll talk tomorrow.